You can't use any of this. None of this is usable. Talk to my agent. <laughs> All right. Can I move on? Say it by one. I don't know what's happening. Hello. <laughs> you gotta stack the pillows. <laughs> get your juice. <laughs> what's your coffee order? I would say an iced soy latte. Do you snore? Not a lot, like a little bit. I think it's like a cute purr. Puppies or kittens? Puppies. Always puppies. <laughs> Cake or pie? It's kind of a dirty secret as a wedding planner. Like, you're supposed to like cake. I don't like wedding cake. In fact, I hate wedding cake. Guilty pleasure. The Real Housewives and fried chicken. How would you describe yourself in three words? Fabulous, funny, crazy. How do you recharge? At the beach, on Fire Island, with no internet, just me and nature. What would you tell yourself in your first year of business that you now know? It's not always easy, and it's never gonna be what you think, but it's worth it. Favorite wedding movie and why? Ah, uh, The Wedding Planner, because obviously I'm J-Lo, and obviously I get Matthew McConaughey in the end, so why else? Would there be a better movie for me other than The Wedding Planner? What's the hardest thing you've ever had to do at a wedding? Try to keep the couple together <laughs> at the wedding. What's your go-to dance move? You want just a little taste? It's it's hip and leg, that's what I'll say. It's hip and leg. Oh. oh. <laughs> biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve is when people stop believing in themselves and when they stop pursuing their dream. How many other wedding pros do you have on speed dial? Many. <laughs> Mask is calling. At least six <laughs> that I talk to almost every day. Wedding tradition you hope never goes away? Um, I think vows should never go away. And for me, it's all about the love in the room, and I'm there for the love, and I'm a cheerleader of love, and I want to hear your love. How would you describe the wedding industry in three words? Big. Fun. Crazy. What's your best feature? <laughs> my personality. <laughs> and my ass, I think. Did you mean something else? Wait, what? No, no, that's perfect. <laughs> Is that the right answer? <laughs> Favorite nonprofit and why? Mm. Ali Forney Center. Um, they do a lot of work with LGBTQ homeless youth. And I couldn't imagine being kicked out of my home for being who I was and having nowhere to go. So they empower, uplift, and house teenagers who are going through a rough time. What would you be doing if you weren't designing weddings? <clears throat> I'd be Oprah, for sure. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be like, I'd be the Jove of Oprah. I'd be, I'd be Jopra. Are you feeling lonely? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about it tonight on Jopra. And what's your motto? Oprah's motto? Jopra's motto or my motto? <laughs> My motto is you do you, boo, because I think being who you are is the only thing you can do in this life and in this world. And the more you do it and the more you put it out there, the better it is for you and everyone else around you. Okay, don't be a jerk. Maybe let's redo it. You do you, boo, unless you're a jerk. Don't be a jerk. Nobody likes a jerk.